Hey everybody, do you know what time it is? It's time for part 4 of chapter 3 of Let's Play Paper Mario. In the last part, we made it here to Tubba Bubba's castle. And in this part, we are going to... I'm thinking we'll be able to probably complete this dungeon, although it is very long and a little tedious because there's only one type of enemy. But anyway, um, let's see here. Uh, can I get that star piece? Why, yes we can. I never did mention, um, there are two star pieces in Top of Bubble's Castle and one super block. Super block, bleh. There, right? So, um, I'm actually gonna fight this t Ah! Yeah, I'm gonna fight this Top of Blubba here because I'm only six star points away from a level up, so BRB. Or as my friends call it, Burb. Yay! I'm definitely gonna do FP because... Uh, I don't have any badges to use, really, and I think I'm good on HP. And plus, I want to be able to use power, boom, whenever I want. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy widescreen. Ooh, yeah, I kind of... I was fiddling around with the settings, and... Yeah, I'm not sure how that's going to work out, but um, there is a star piece up there, but we cannot get that yet. For reasons I don't feel like explaining. Um, let's see if I can ninja around this guy here. Yay, ninja! Oh, wait. I'm not really curious as to the walls in that other door, but um, let's just go down here. Um, uh, okay, we have another one of these guys. In the name of Herbert, I slay you. Stanley will live on in our hearts. Anyway, uh, let's ninja run this guy. Spin jump away! Ooh, look, stuff. According to video game logic, you always open chests that you see, and you get castle keys. And if you look down here, you'll find, well, that dude, and also a healing block. And I didn't need it, yay. Oh, you're Mario. Nice place, huh? As a matter of fact, I came to this castle with my friends to try to find Tubba Bubba's weak points. We managed to find out that there's something important hidden in Tubba Bubba's room on the highest floor. You couldn't have just phased through all the floors and walls and... Uh, but once I got separated from my friends, I just had to hide. But you could go. First, you need to get to the uppermost floor, then keep going until you find his room. Alright, and then he says, Not to challenge blah blah blah, because he is indeed invincible. Who would have thunk it? So, yeah, here's that super block I mentioned. And we are definitely going to want to upgrade Bow, because... I really should be using Bow more, but just the enemies in this chapter... It's really good to take care of them with Bow Dad, it really is. Um, I guess I'll keep Bo out for a little bit. Uh, oh, I kind of need to now because... Skill Crane. Ah! Okay. Apparently I cannot de de defy the awesome wrath of... That wooden side railing thingy. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't, I don't know what it's called. An irony! I'm above the Skill Crane. Anyway. So recently, I've been playing Sunshine. Again. <laughs> yeah, I'm currently on my third 100% run of it. And I don't know in the back here! Oh, I see. Those two doors connect. And by going through there, you get the key. Yes, I did. I did practice this dungeon, but it was a while ago. And also, you have to keep in mind that this dungeon's pretty big. But um, here's something that I forgot. If you blow up this wall here... Correction. If you blow up this wall here... Correction! If you... Oh, wait. Maybe I'm in the, maybe I'm in the wrong hallway. Ah, uh, one sec. No, I didn't do anything wrong. Alright, I'll just go with it. <laughs> Why do I keep burping on camera? Jeez. I'm worse than NCS apparently is. Even though I don't watch his videos as much. Ah! Okay. The skill cranes can have to defy the awesome wrath of my speedrunning skills. I don't know. <laughs> so let's see here. Uh, more clubbers. Um... Oh, crap. Wait, how, is there, how are there windows here? I don't know. Because I think if you look at the castle, like, I don't know. So, I will say that Chapter 3 is probably my favorite. Oh, God. Yeah, if you get caught by this skill crane, it'll just throw you out. But, um, I will say, though, that um, Chapter 3 is probably my favorite chapter in this game. Actually, no, strike that. It's my second favorite, because... I'll say, you know, Chapter 6 is my favorite. And although th although I do like every other chapter, it's just... I don't know. I just like that chapter. Oh, God. In the name of Stanley, I slay you. Even though you just slayed me. That was really fast. And it's this wall. Okay, it's this wall that you blow up. And you come in here. So let's try this one. 
Oh. Oh, wow, Nintendo. I'll meet you guys back in that room. Skill crane, no swiping. Skill crane, no swiping. Skill crane, no swiping. Anyway, I'm back at the entrance of that place. And, um, yeah, these all lead to that room that you saw me fall into. You want to break this one first. You don't have to fall through it because... But, um, yeah, you want to break that one first. And then you can break this one. And then by doing that... Oh, wait. How do you get down there? Is it this one? Oh, okay, yeah. You fall down on that one in order to get this badge. And then, if you have that other hole broken... Shut up. You can get back up there using that spring. So we get D-Down Jump, which is basically the same as D-Down Pound, only with the jump. In my opinion, it's better, but, um... Actually, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that on right now. Alright, apparently I don't have room, so never mind. Uh, let's see here, get on time. Oh, God! Skill crane, no swiping! Skill crane, no swiping! Okay. Ah, uh, let's, try, let's try going in here. Oh, God, I hate this room so much. There's a room like- there is a room much like this in Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. That room gave me- <clears throat> That room gave me H.E. Double Hockey Sticks. Apparently this room didn't want me to say a curse word. Even though I looked at the insight and my audience is between 11 and 14. Yes, I actually took the time to look at the insight. And again, the castle key. And now, Nintendo is such jerks that if you get hurt again, you get sent back to that treasure chest, not the entrance. Ah! That wasn't close at all. Anyway. Ah! Neither was that. Anyway, um, this room is the, is the key to get another secret in this place. Get this Godfather clock that is very conspicuous, and push it to the side. And you go to one of my favorite rooms in the entire game, because I just love how creative it is. Okay. So first, you have to pull out the shelf, jump up here, Fly across that bed, and one must wonder whose bed this is, because you see Tumba Blubba's bed later, and this bed is, like, it never tells you whose, whose bed this is, like, is this, is it, is this his wife's? Because I don't think his wife would be very happy about him eating booze. Ugh. Anyway, I jump up here after doing all that, and... <gasps> the Sanctuary! Mega Rush, when Mario's in peril, his attack goes up by four. Yeah, not that helpful. <laughs> You'd think they'd give you something, help, like, useful after all that effort, but nope. You don't. So, because... Ah! Ninja! Yay! Ah! But, um, I've said it before, I'm having a lot of fun recording. Like, again. Because, like, I got Paper Mario going on, you know, I just have a lot of fun recording this. And, of course, I'm starting to make friends do Let's Playing, so... That's half of the fun, as anybody will say. And in this room, you're gonna want to get bow. He fire phone. Hmm, <laughs> what's this? Sniff, sniff. Okay, so any walkthrough will tell you to go invisible and just walk and just get past the blah blah blah. But I fight for Stanley, and we must avenge him. So yeah, basically in this fight, although he does have 10 HP, you cannot hurt him. So like, watch this. Quick, slap him! Eh, 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 eh. Okay, so that didn't work. So instead, run out of Oh crap! Um, I've never actually seen him attack before, so I'm not sure what he does. That wimpy little attack doesn't hurt me at all. Now it's my turn. I'm really hoping gonna. Oh shit! It? Um, should I try running? Again? Should I try running away again? Um, okay, let's go for a repel gel. And then I'll just keep trying to run away. Or I could have tried to run away and use out of sight. That would have been much more smart. Way to go, past me. And wow! Thank you for putting the spell into effect when I'm in a battle that I can't win no matter what. Yeah, so I just wanted to show that you can indeed. Oh, wow. Oh, if you make him invisible, he leaves the fight. I never knew that. So if you use out of sight, or if you use a repel gel, he'll leave. I never knew that. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show that because you can indeed go into battle with Tabba Blubba and just and just run away. Like not a lot of people realize that. But um, what you're gonna want to do is make me open this door. No. 
So let's go in here. Because somehow Tabo Blubba can get through these tiny doors. I love this room. Wow. We got the castle key. And now I'm gonna show you a montage of me killing these of these these clubbers one by one. Oh crap. Oh crap. I'm screwed. I'm royally screwed. Guys, I haven't saved since the beginning of this chapter. And even if I guard against all three of them, I'm gonna die. Why in the world did I challenge these guys? Even Stanley isn't worth this. I really don't think there's anything I can do. Um... Just an attack, I guess. I'm really hoping- Okay, if the spell goes- if, if the spell goes into- Oh no, I'm screwed. Okay, no, no, no. No, no. Next time on Let's Play Paper Mario, I am going to meet you guys back there after I play through this entire chapter again. Don't worry, I won't do anything differently, just, yeah, oh my god. All the way back there.